Hey guys, so a while ago I heard about this challenge that America Silver Patriot was putting out um, to the community. He wanted everybody to go back and read the Constitution and read the Bill of Rights. And, and I thought that was really super important and, and such a great thing that he was doing. And so many people have gotten involved in this. Um, I've been putting this off because, well, truth is, I hate doing videos. But I'm going to do it because this is an important thing to me. A um, little bit about myself. Um, I'm an Air Force veteran. Um, so the Constitution and the Bill of Rights um, hit me to my core. I took an oath at the beginning of my enlistment, um, and I'm going to read that oath to you. Uh, so just bear with me here. So this is the oath of enlistment that I took. I, Paula Bloom, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. Now, when I took that oath, um, it meant a lot to me. And, and so obviously part of that oath is supporting and defending the Constitution of the United States. And, you know, I have to be honest, um, I really had never read through it in its entirety up until uh, America started this challenge. And, and it's something that I myself am going to, uh, from here on out, I'm gonna at least once a year go through and read it because I know that there are so many of my brothers and sisters who wrote that blank check um, up to the amount of their lives and uh, to defend this constitution and this country of ours. And I was fortunate that my check never got cashed, but too many have. And so in honor of them, um, I'm going to take this challenge and I could, I've decided that I am going to read the Bill of Rights, and I could not pick one, just one. So I'm going to read the entire Bill of Rights to you, and I hope that's okay with you guys. I know that uh, I do like to talk a lot, but uh, this really, this is from my heart. So, so I'm going to read the whole Bill of Rights. Um, so let's go. So the Bill of Rights <clears throat> are basically the first 10 amendments. The first amendment reads, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Amendment two, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Amendment three, no soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in a time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. Amendment four, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrants shall issue 
but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. <clears throat> Amendment five, no person shall be head, held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liber liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Amendment six, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. <clears throat> Amendment seven. In suits at common law where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of a trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. Amendment 8. <clears throat> excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Amendment nine, wait, did I, yeah, Amendment nine, sorry. The enumeration in the constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Amendment 10, the powers not delegated to the United States by the constitution nor prohibited by it to the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. Now that's a lot of big words, but I urge everyone and encourage everyone to please read the constitution, read the bill of rights, know your rights. This is troubling times right now and we all need to come together as a nation. And part of that is knowing our rights. So I'm gonna put America Silver Patriots um, channel link down in the description of this. Thank you all for bearing with me and listening to this. It's it's near and dear to my heart. Um, and please go over to his channel and check out his Calling All Patriots Challenge. He is doing a giveaway for this. Um, he'll go over all of that in all of the videos. Um, there's a few of them talking about this challenge and and I know how much it means to him. And if anybody wants to do a video, please, please, please do one and let America Silver Patriot know that you have done a video. Um, let's all come together. This is a super important thing. Thanks for listening, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, God bless America. You guys have a great day. Bye.